How's it? Aloha, gang, and welcome back to High Now Daily. We're continuing to celebrate Culture Week here on High Now. We welcome in now Tyler Gomes, Chief Administrator for Kilohano from the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Welcome in, brother. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, we're always excited to see you. And you brought a full-blown performance today. So if you didn't catch the top of the show, you missed out. There was hula, there was mele. But tell everybody about the Kilohano Hula Show. So the Kilohano Hula Show is at the Waikiki Shell. Uh, beginning the week of April 7th, it'll be Sunday through Wednesday, 9.30 to 10.30 in the morning. We've got some absolute juggernauts of <laughs> performers, singers, dancers. You've seen a little snippet, but if you come down to the show, it's free. We've got some really, really amazing talent to share, and the whole thing is a love letter to that hapahaole era of hula. Now, what inspired the Kilohana Hula Show? This is almost kind of like a reimagined version of what took place in the past, yeah? Absolutely. So many people remember the Kodak Show, which ended, I think, in 2002, and when you talk to a lot of our visitors and our kama'aina, they all missed it. And so this is a real opportunity to be regenerative about it. Um, we've heard people say everybody loves a free hula show who doesn't but the reality is these things cost a little bit of money so we are really really pleased to announce uh, Southwest Airlines as our title sponsor now and that way we can really invest in the talent the time the skill the art that is presenting our our music and our hula hundred percent and we're looking at some uh, some video here that that was taken previously uh, how's the reception been Kilo Hano hula show launched when it launched just over a month and a half ago uh, I'm biased but it's been an absolute <laughs> smash uh, and you know what it's average averaging about 50-50 visitors and residents. So Kama'aina and Malihini alike are coming down, enjoying it. We've had students from the local elementary school. It's really, really been embraced by the community and that's exactly what we want. And how important is an opportunity for people to come in and, and learn about the Kilohana Hula Show? You know, providing this space that's really educational, not just for people that are visiting, but even for Kama'aina who maybe they weren't around, they don't know too much about that Kodak Hula, Hula Show. Yeah, so you know, the tone of entertainment in Hawaii has really gotten blended with our other Polynesian cultures. We love them all, but this is an opportunity to really explicitly focus on and highlight Hawaiian culture. Um, but more than that, this is one of the few hula shows that really pays homage to the aina that we're on, which is Kapi'olani Park, pay respect to Queen of the Okalani and King Kalakaua, who revitalized hula. And so the show starts out with kahiko numbers, which not all shows start out with, and then moves into these hapahaole uh, oana numbers that we just saw at the top of the show. Now, uh, with that amount of shows and live performances taking place, I imagine, so musicians, hula dancers, are they kind of constantly switching out? They are. The yeah. So the, there is a musician troupe, which on any given day has seven to maybe 12 uh, of our really talented uh, musicians. The hula dancers number something over 20. They're always switching out. And then we've also got a kupuna troupe of five to six really solid kupuna dancers. Some of our, our cast have actually been in the original Kodak show and so have their uh, kupuna, their parents. Uh, and so this really does harken back in a lot of different ways. And that is special to all of us. Mm -hmm. Now, as this uh, conversation, can, we, we continue to look at it, kind of addressing the best way for welcoming people here. And Kilohana, this extension from the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, in addition to the Kilohana Hula Show, is working on what other initiatives addressing that? Well, you know, uh, we launched the Maokeke during the pandemic, which I think most folks are familiar now. Uh, we're really trying to expand that in ways that we can highlight our local product makers, uh, because what we do want to offer our visitors is a clear, you know, guide to this is how you shop local, this is how you eat local, this is how you appreciate art and culture that has been cultivated locally. So we're really excited about that. And I would be remiss not to mention that today, March 26th, is Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole's birthday. That's right. Everything we do at the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement really honors his legacy as an ali'i. And I just wanted to highlight the fact that everything we do in our mission is aimed towards making our ali'i proud. Uh, how do we get more information about the Kilohana Hula Show, other initiatives that are taking place for the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement? For the Hula Show, you can go to Experience Kilohana you can see that also at kilohana.com and hawaiiancouncil.org. Okay, mahalo nui, Tyler. Mahalo. Always a pleasure, brother. Okay, so right now we're going to send things upstairs. Rachel is standing by in the High Now kitchen. Not that she needs any added sugar, but that's exactly what she's going to get. She's hanging out, getting the details on Girly Pop. What's happening? Yeah, you're exactly <laughs> right, Kainoa. I've got a lot of 